Greatness. Today, I want to remind you to find out what works for you and nurture that aspect of yourself. Don't get too caught up in the outside world. Don't get too lost in uh, the traits of narcissism that we do see more commonly in the society nowadays. But find what works for you. Now that does mean protect yourself, remove yourself uh, from environments, relationships that don't that don't suit you in your life. But more importantly, explore the aspects of yourself that you may have hidden away from yourself that inspire you to see the beautiful things in this world and this reality. Search for those things. And you don't need anybody else to do it. It's the inside job. That's the, that's the lovely part about it. But as you explore more of those things that give you a sense of peace and fulfillment in your life, you'll realize that it doesn't take much. It simply takes your attention to give you that peace of mind, to give you that sense of freedom within your own reality along your journey. And it's just a constant unfoldment. See, we can we can get distracted. We can get caught up in this outside world so much that it's almost as if we cannot separate ourselves from it. But that's just not true. It's not true at all. By feeding the ideas, uh, the beliefs, the environments that we want to have, that we desire to have, by holding on to those ideas and doing what we can to entertain them, they will slowly and sometimes quickly unfold before our eyes. And the more we move in that aspect, the more we move in that light and that direction, the more lovely the journey becomes. It's not to say that we're not going to have hardship. It's not to say that we're not going to have resistance. It's not to say that we won't witness obstacles. All these things come to territory. However, knowing that we're dealing with resistance that is along the path of our own choosing makes the difference. Not being led by others. It's okay to be inspired but do not blindly follow. Do not get caught up in someone else's idea and ways of the world so much that you lose sense of your own ideas and ways of the world. Because you too have something to offer to self, not to the world, but to self. And in offering it to yourself, then you'll find aspects that you may be able to share to help others but it's about finding freedom for yourself, freedom freedom for your own expression. That is your God-given power. To live your experience of life on your terms and to share your testimony with others. This, this journey is structured in a way that, yes, we learn along the way, but it's not a school in the sense of tradition. It's not a school in the sense of, yeah, you reach uh, this grade and then the world treats you this way. You get to this grade and then you have these responsibilities. Nah, it's a different kind of school. It's a different kind of learning experience. Meaning no matter what aspect or what point of the journey that you're on, there's always a way to evolve. There's always a way to learn. There's always a way to open and expand your form of expression of your life, of your love, of your life within you. And that's amazing. So embrace your life. Embrace your experiences. Don't shy away from those ugly parts. No. Own them. Understand them as much as you can. But don't, don't hold on to them. Be aware of them and what you learn by going through certain experiences and then pushing on. 
Don't get too caught up in the issues of others. One beautiful thing for my journey, I'll be honest with you, dealing with narcissists, dealing with those who have narcissistic tendencies, dealing with those who have the tendencies of having BPD or possessing certain traits, it really helped me. And I didn't see it at the time. No, nah, I thought it was hell on earth. But it helped me believe in who I am. It helped me see who I am. And it also helped me see who I was or what I represented for others. And they wouldn't want to admit it. They probably don't even understand it or see it. I do not care. But seeing the influence that I could have in a positive light, even in a negative light in others' lives, helped me understand more, connect more with the positive influence I could have in my own life. If I just gave myself the time. So I changed and maneuvered that route. I gave myself the time. I gave myself the love. I gave myself the attention. And I didn't demand it from anybody else. The journey got better. Certain things changed. To the outside world, my situation probably got worse. That's okay. To them, that's what it looked like. But to me, it's beautiful. It was peaceful. It was lovely. I started to begin to connect with myself in ways that I wouldn't even allow myself to in the past because I was so concerned with the ideas of others. But now I find a peace in being with myself. I don't, I don't care what everybody else got going on. It's none of my business. My life is my business. My journey is my business. And that's how I maneuver. That's my freedom. What I have planned for the future, it's my business. What I do now, it's my business. What you dad, what you have planned for the future, that's your business. What you do now, that's your business. Don't be caught up in somebody else's idea of what you should be doing or what they expect you to be doing. Live your life. Find the things that make you excited about waking up. Fall in love with the dreams that make you excited about going to sleep at night. Find the peace within you. Now, I'm more introverted. That's my thing. So I'm okay with being dolo, just being by myself, relaxing. Even if I'm engaged with working with my hands or reading a book or whatever I'm doing, I'm okay with being by myself. I recharge like that. But some people are the opposite. That's fine. Find out that thing within you that helps you feed that beautiful part of yourself. We don't have to linger in hurt. We don't have to allow the hurt to define us. No, we experience it. And we're always going to experience some level of hurt. And that's fine. But don't let it be who you are. Let it be the reason that you molded yourself into a different version of who you are today. Keep pushing forward. But trust in who you are. I tell you that from the bottom of my heart. Trust in who you are. Don't get caught up in anybody else's ideas of life. Don't get caught up in my ideas of life. If anything, find whatever you can and whatever I'm saying or whatever anybody else is saying. Find something that inspires you to see the beautiful aspects of life. That's what matters. That's the seed that bears fruit. Anything else? Man, don't worry about that. Shake it off as best as you can. If you're not able to get away from them people, if you're not able to get away from that job right now, invest in doing so. It's the best I can tell you. Because your peace of mind is second to none. And the more you connect with that idea, <laughs> the more addicted you get to uh, taking care of yourself properly. Because if you take care of yourself, it's one less problem for somebody else. Until next time, be blessed.